Hello everybody, Tornado60163 here with another layout update. Now, as you can tell, I've done ballasting. So, yeah, I've done that since the last update. I would like to apologise about um, last month I didn't do an update because, well, I hadn't done anything to the layout. So I didn't see the point in doing an update, but I hope everyone had a nice Christmas and I hope everyone has a nice new year. Now, yeah, so the main thing since the last update is ballasting. It's not brilliant. It's the first time I've ever done ballasting, as you can see. There's little bits there that I still need to tidy up on. Um, I'm still, I'm still in the middle of doing the yard. But so that's as far as I've got with ballasting. Still got to put put some glue around there. As part of it, it hasn't I haven't glued down yet. So since the last update, I have managed to purchase the Graham Farish Class 108. The DCC sound version, as you heard at the start of the video. Oh my god, it is amazing. It is expensive, but I would say it is worth the money if if it, you're doing the era that they um they was running. Since the last update as well, I have sent my three Bud and Custard coaches off to be weathered by the TMC because I'm still not confident doing it myself now as you can see it's not it's minimal but you can see there three splodges on the buffers you can see on the roof it's been lightly weathered and on the under frame as well it's not pristine black like if I get my VR Blue Mark 1 you can see the difference in the under frame it's there and then there so that cost me about £10 per coach. Also, at the t I sent the Graham Farish Class 350 off that I had to be weathered. As you can see, it's again very minimalistic, but really, really good because these are passenger, these are passenger trains, so they wouldn't get too dirty. But with the 350, the major one you can see the weathering one is the one with the motor where the pantograph is as you can see that there has been quite weathered because up there wouldn't be seen usually so it would get quite dirty so yeah also since the last update I have added some ballast into one of my wagons by Pico now this is called a ferry tube wagon I'm not too sure exactly what it's called but I put some ballast in it because it makes it look a bit more realistic and adds a bit of weight. So going over points, it doesn't derail as easily. Now, in the last update, I did mention that the um, Flying Scotsman model I had by Dapol, I wasn't too happy with the running. Now, I did try to run it in a bit more, but it, the noise wouldn't stop and then the cab started bouncing up and down. So I've since sent that back and I got an email saying, I'm just trying to get this in focus, saying that they couldn't repair it, so they're replacing the model and they're going to send it to me and it should be coming back within a few days. And something else you'll notice is missing is the um, Dapol Prairie that I had, the 45XX. Now when I was running that, the linkage decided to give up and just decided to but like fall apart so that's been sent off and I should be getting that back tomorrow also since the last update I mentioned that I'd get a class 08 shunter but I saw on eBay this Graham Farish class 03 weathered for £50 and I couldn't resist it so I bought the class 03 instead of the, um, the class 08 now, as you'll notice in the background, if I get it in focus, just there, is a signal box. For Christmas, I've got a few buildings, and one of them is this signal box by Graham Farish Syncroft. It is the abandoned signal box, and as you can see, it is now glued down. 
and yeah it is stunning as you can see so like that there's window boarded up planks missing from the stairs like moss going around the bottom and it just looks abandoned also i have got the grain flourish water tower still deciding whereabouts to put that in the yard as i can't put it like I did originally want to put it about um, roughly there, but it's a bit too close to the locos when they're coming out, so I can't because the engines clash with it. So I'm probably going to think about having it just around there or something, so all the locos can access it, all the steamers, because most of the steamers will be in there. One or two will be in these four, as in one, two, three, four. So, yeah, I did get some more buildings. They are currently in here, behind this cardboard box. I'll move that out of the way. I got the Grain Farish bike rack. That'll be placed down when I get a platform. It'll be put next to the main station building. And I have also managed to get a thatched cottage, which will be probably where all my trains are right now at some point so that's all the main differences I would say with the ballasting don't if you're brand new to brand new to the railway like proper modeling get a baluster something like that that has made it once I got that it made it so much easier as you can see all around there I've done with the baluster and it's a much cleaner finish than that. So I'll still be working on that. But that cost me about a tenner off Amazon. And it did an amazing job. I can't criticise it at all. So for the ballast I've used. I've used the Woodland Scenics Fine Ballast Grey. Now I do plan on getting the ballast weathered and possibly painting the sides of the rails to make it look a bit more realistic as is, you can see the track is very shiny. So yeah, I, there are points where the ballast goes over the sleepers as you can see just there as I need to sort that out but that won't be too much of an issue. In the actual sidings I'm not too fussed about that but on the main line I want the ballast quite clear of the sleepers. Now, as you can see, the ballast has helped cover the soldering joint. The camera does pick it up quite a lot, but it doesn't look as bad on camera. So I'm happy with that. All the points that I have currently ballasted do work, which is a huge relief. I thought I was gonna completely screw them up ballasting, but I had the confidence to do it and I've done it well, somehow. <laughs> so, that's about it really since the last update. I've got, so update wise on roller stock, I've got the Grand Farish Class 03, the um, Grand Farish 108 DMU. I've had the, my three Collet uh, Blood and Custard coaches weathered and my Class 350 weathered. That's about it for rolling stock, so that's all I can think of. That's I've done since the last update, so not too much. But enough to do another video one, so yeah, sorry about not doing a video last month, so as I've said, I, there wasn't much to update you on, so I didn't bother doing it, because I didn't start the ballasting, so it was literally as it was in the previous update. So, yeah, that's all I can think of, so Tornado60163, signing out.